Hello, my name is Emma Moore and I'm a sophomore at Green Lake High School. I am very interested in the environment and what I can do to help change it for the better. Therefore, for my personal project, I have decided to focus on how the clothing industry affects the environment. My goal is to raise awareness about this topic and have a clothing drive to recycle clothes that would otherwise harm the world around us. I need your help to make this possible. Most people don't think twice about the impact of what they're wearing every day. You buy clothes, sometimes they're worn and sometimes not as much as others. They are washed, possibly passed on, become damaged, and are eventually thrown away. Then you buy more clothes. I'm here to tell you that almost every part of that cycle is hurting the environment in one way or another, and not many people are realizing it. Let's start with the production and selling of clothes. You may have noticed that starting several decades ago, not many things are produced in the United States anymore. Just look at your clothing tags. It's no secret that clothing companies are getting their goods from out-of-country suppliers. Now, why do they do this? The simple answer is because it's cheap. Now, why is it cheap? Because the factories often underpay their workers and they use cheap materials. The factories can then sell their product at a low price. In turn, the clothing companies can then sell their clothes at a low price to you and at the latest style. This is a modern practice known as fast fashion. The fast fashion industry has led to more and more low quality clothing being created and sold. In turn, there is also more clothing being thrown away. Now, you may be wondering, why is fast fashion such a bad thing if you can just go to the store and get stylish clothes at a good price? Well, not only are there many people being underpaid to make those clothes, but most of the clothing is actually being made using synthetic material. Synthetic material is essentially plastic. With the rise of the fast fashion industry, more and more clothing is being made using synthetic material. Now about 60% of all clothing is made using plastic instead of organic material such as cotton, linen, or wool. Now, why is synthetic material so bad? Synthetic material, such as polyester, is made from fossil fuels and must burn fossil fuels to make them as well. This has a very large carbon footprint, considering how many clothes are being made out of plastic in this era. The rest of the production process is very emissive as well. In order to put this into perspective of how much of a carbon footprint this industry has, consider this. The clothing industry is producing more carbon emissions than airline travel and maritime shipping combined. Your clothes that have polyester, nylon, spandex, argon, acrylic, or another synthetic material on the tag is really contributing to the rise in greenhouse gases and therefore a rise in global temperature. That is not the only reason that plastic is a terrible material for clothing. The fact is that every time you wash a piece of clothing made of synthetic material, it sheds tiny pieces of plastic into the wastewater. Not tens, not hundreds, but hundreds of thousands of microplastic fibers will shed off a single article of clothing every time you wash it. This adds up. In one day, the equivalent volume of four to seven million plastic bags is released into sewage in the form of microplastic fibers. Plastic does not disappear. 
and one can only imagine where all these fibers are ending up. The clothing items themselves are eventually going to be sitting in landfills as well. Millions of tons of clothes are thrown away every year and most of it isn't biodegradable. Not to mention, synthetic material most likely won't even be recycled and processed to be used as new material. This is because it costs less just to make more of it. This is a never-ending cycle and it's continuing to harm the environment at an exponential rate. But I'm here to tell you that here in Green Lake, we can make a difference. I want to collect clothing that would otherwise be thrown away or shed even more microplastic into the environment. I will then use those clothing items and turn them into reusable bags, such as this one. I aim to put these throughout the community for people to use instead of wasteful plastic bags. Now that you know a little bit about how your clothing affects the environment, you can help our community become more green. I'm encouraging everyone to just take a quick look at your closet. First, check your tags. Do you have any clothes that maybe you just bought because it, it was on sale, and, but you never wear it? Or was it damaged when you bought it? Are they made of synthetic material such as polyester, spandex, acrylic, nylon, or argon? Donate it. Keep plastic out of our water. Also, you can look at where your clothes are coming from by looking at your tags. Is the company making efforts to have a greener industry? Are they transparent about the factories that they get their supplies from? You have all the power you need to find all the information about the clothing industry right at your fingertips. Also, remember to donate your old clothes or other clothes made of organic material to local donation bins so other people can wear them as well. Keep as many clothes as possible out of landfills. Making a change all starts with making conscious decisions about your clothes. Check the tags, check the seams to be sure they will last, research where they are coming from, and just think about whether or not you will love and wear your clothes before you buy them. Donating to my clothing drive will help put the harmful plastic clothes in your closet to good use. Share this video with someone you know to educate more people and help our environment. I will have donation boxes in the school office in locations in the community such as Sassafras and Crossroads, or you can simply give them to me. Please be sure the clothing is clean when you donate. I need your help in order to make our community and world become more aware of the harm that clothing causes to the environment. Thank you so much for watching.